when you get back home with your kids, go through their candy. During an appearance on what appears to be local news, Marjorie Taylor Greene is pushing lies about Halloween candy. The lies that we've all been told for years that have nothing to them whatsoever. And I'll showcase that in this ridiculous story. So important to note, going out in Halloween, don't be afraid. Sure, be cautious, but uh, don't be scared into thinking that people are giving away their drugs to your children because people aren't stupid. Uh, Halloween's coming up and they were talking about putting it in, like in milk duds and putting it in Skittles. Uh, Skittles, sweet tarts, sweet tarts. Like that. Yep. Mm. So that's something that needs to be addressed and needs to be stopped. I don't know the answer to it. Right. Yeah, she did. These, these are the real issues. Judy, these are the issues that matter. Um, people need to check their children's candy. This is something you should do every single year anyways. Be very careful. Pay attention to where your kids go trick-or-treating. If you have young children, you should go with them. You should always go with them trick-or-treating. Um, when you get back home with your kids, go through their candy. Now... To be fair, I also support going through their candy. You got a taste test. You got to have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. Oh, don't worry. I'm just checking for drugs. I'm not taking your candy, just, just making sure it's all safe for you. Before you know it, all the wrappers are empty and your child's crying. But <laughs> this is so deranged. In fact, this is truly mental illness. It is. So this has been a constant garbage story pushed for decades at this point and i will get to the potential genesis of all of this later on in this video but first here so this this the recent craze rainbow fentanyl because we all know drug dealers make a ton of money off of little kids so this is from the da traffic qu quantities sorry trafficker quantities of rainbow fentanyl arrive in new york Approximately 15,000 candy-colored fentanyl pills. Go check your uh, your pill cupboard, whatever the hell you call it, your medicine cabinet. <laughs> how many medicine? Uh, how many of your medicines? Is that the proper terminology? How much of it is color? Is 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 it some variation of of a color like purple, pink? Uh, I don't know, yellow. Most of it is. Pepto-Bismol, are they targeting children because it's pink? Is Benadryl targeting children because it's pink or purple or whatever it is? That This is so stupid. Pills come in all sorts of colors. This is just marketing <laughs> for fentanyl. This is not targeting children. What, just think about this, before I even get any further into this, think about this for a second. How do traffickers benefit by giving away their expensive drugs to children. Please, think about it. There is no benefit at all. In fact, it would be a lot worse for them. <laughs> they would be even further targeted by the police if something like this was done in any sort of, you know, organized way. It's completely insane. So this from Salon DA uh, says rainbow fentanyl pills are being marketed to children. Experts say that's nonsense. So let me get to some of the comments here. Dr. Nabarun Dasgupta, a pharmaceutical scientist at the University of Carolina at Chapel Hill, characterized this new panic about fentanyl being marketed towards kids as, quote, typical drug war bullshit. <laughs> Dasgupta's work includes running a drug checking service that uses analytical chemistry to detect what is in street drugs. Dasgupta says the DEA's framing, quote, was so divorced from any reality of what drug markets are actually like, it was almost laughable that our country's top drug enforcement folks are so out of touch. I should also be clear. From what I, I have read, the DEA has not said that it's being targeted at children, but they have said young adults. And the media, largely right-wing media and local news, because they love this story, have taken this to, to twist it and claim that young adults now means children. So this is, and also notice how this happens, just how it happens right, right before Halloween. So I believe the story is from um, late August. So, or... October 4th for this one. There you go. So <laughs> right before Halloween, just so happens, I'll get to uh, the timing and why that's important shortly. 
But uh, also here, so uh, regarding the diet fentanyl pills, Dasgupta says the DEA is late to the party. Quote, we've been talking about colored dope for years. This is like completely nothing new, Dasgupta told Salon, describing a palette of drugs his lab has received since early 2021, including turquoise, bright magenta, purple, green, yellow, brown, and pastels. Claire Zagorski, a licensed paramedic, program coordinator, and harm reduction instructor for the farm program at the University of Texas at Austin College of Pharmacy, described the DEA announcement as old recycled drug propaganda that echoes the perennial myth that Halloween candy might be spiked with illicit narcotics. So, the timing. So yes, of course, the story's ridiculous. Dumb. Look at the timing here. So as Ryan Marino writes, who is a doctor, he says, so the DEA made up the rainbow fentanyl myth last month and spread it to every outlet that would uncritically regurgitate it while refusing to answer questions or provide evidence. Now they will likely get millions of dollars of additional taxpayer money to increase their budget. So this is not just a Republican politician issue push, pushing this garbage. Here you have Chuck Schumer. Democrat Chuck Schumer is warning about the dangers of rainbow fentanyl. He's calling for an additional $290 million in funding to help in the fight. So money directly for the police. Just so happens, this story comes out right before Halloween, spread to largely right-wing media, but also politicians within the Democratic Party as well, and used to try and get more funding. Now, last thing here. Uh, this is from the Vox. As uh, my former colleague, German Lopez, pointed out in 2018, stories about adults killing children through laced candy go back to the 1950s, but there's never been any evidence or data suggesting that this is a real problem. Lopez wrote, the closest thing to a case like the one so many parents worry about comes from 1974. Back then, an eight-year-old died after eating pixie sticks laced with cyanide. But the culprit wasn't a stranger handing out candy to trick-or-treaters. It was the child's father, who apparently did it to get life insurance money. So I've seen other data where there's like zero to one cases a year of a kid uh, getting sick or dying because of candy that was laced with something. And I have to imagine most of those cases are targeted for maybe a reason like this sick individuals out there but the idea that random strangers random drug dealers are giving away their drugs to children please <laughs> stop and think for a second how would that benefit them this is another example of a story largely taken by the right but as i said also local news they love this shit and has put this fear into people for years. And look, it's even, it's gotten me in the past because of, of how prevalent this story is. So just be aware that even though this may be ingrained in you to, to worry about Halloween candy, it's only because this has been a story every single year of your life. So just step back for a second, think about it, look at the actual experts, what they're saying, and consider that maybe this entire story is bullshit.